Thanks for bye guys, and welcome back to Scram Cake. Now today we're going to be doing a tutorial on gun stabilization. This is something I've been using a lot of my newer tanks that some people really wanted me to show how I do it. Now, I'm going to be starting off this tutorial with two things already built. That is the cannons, since I've already done a tutorial on how to make those specifically. And the stabilizer, because I've done a tutorial on how to build those specifically as well. These are two major components you're both going to need for this little build that we're going to be doing. And I'm going to be showing how to build everything else, such as the elevation mechanism, the horizontal mechanism, and balancing your gun. So let's go ahead and get into it. So as you start out, you're going to go ahead and need your gun ready to go. This is already configured and ready to shoot. All I have to do is hook up a button to this. So the first thing I'm going to do is actually build and decorate the main cannon itself. This is going to be like the mantlet, the top of the gun. The only thing I need to do is I need to leave some space back here because that is where a lot of things are going to be mounted. And I'm also going to be modifying a few things here. So I'm going to do that first real quick. So for mounting the actual elevation mechanism, I usually mount it straight to right here where the rounds connect. So I'm going to have to replace one of these with one of these, just so I have a mounting point here on the side. I can weld this back. Then I need to just build up the cannon itself and get the aesthetics in the armor out of the way. And we start adding everything else to this. All right, so there we go. I just put the armor itself on, a little bit of a gun mantlet, and a bit of decoration with the barrel. You want to get the gun as close to the finished product as you can at this point, just so you know how you're going to balance it in the future. Balance is one of those things that it's really, really good to have, but if it's a little bit off, it won't make a major difference, but you want to get as close as you can. So you want to get the gun to as close as the final product as you can before you actually apply the stabilizers. The first thing we're going to do is actually the gun elevation mechanism. Let's go ahead and grab a few pieces that we're going to need. Uh, the major ones here are pistons and your spring because this is going to be using piston. Uh, is going to be using a suspension glitch to accomplish it. Basically, you need to make a rig that allows two pistons to push on a spring from opposite directions. And this is just the default mechanism that I would use to accomplish it myself. And then piston. And now when this piston extends, it's going to push against the side of that spring, which is going to cause a suspension glitch steering system, which is what will pull the gun up and down. So if I were to quickly grab some buttons, just as a temporary showing you how this is working. And hook these to the pistons. You can see that I can aim down and I can aim up now. Now for the second part we're going to need another spring. We're going to need some bearings and we are going to need a pipe piece just as a connector. There we go. And I try and get it on top of the gun in this open section. You could hang it off the back but it'll make the gun a little bit longer. This should hopefully make it just as compact as it would be normally as a gun. I'm trying to keep it in the same form factor as all my other guns. 
other than this suspension piece here, because this is going to hang out, you're going to have to make room for this to move inside your turret. However, the rest of this should fit in a standard form factor. Let's do bearing, bearing, paint, paint. There we go. And we need some controllers. Now, my gun designs usually have a controller in them by default. So we're just going to put one and we can use this one for the other and set one of these to say about positive 10 and negative 10 and make sure everything is welded like it should be I think it should already be welded up yep and we should be able to put some buttons on this and turn the gun Ah, it appears that those weren't actually connected. Let me try that again. There we go. Now the two bearings should be connected. So that turns right. That turns left. Just as it should. Everything's working. And now we need to put a mounting point. Our glitch, our stabilizer glitch is actually going to be attached right here. We're not going to be putting that in yet. That is the last thing, putting the stabilizer in. Now we're going to get the cannon ready to mount. So let's go ahead and grab some pipe pieces. I need this one right here. And we need to determine the actual mounting point. This is all part of balancing the gun right here. So I'm going to try that as my mounting point and I'm going to make a quick rig to balance this on. There we go, we got a nice rig to balance it on, and apparently some of my bearings got disconnected. That was a mistake on my part. There we go. Well, we know the gun is back heavy, so we can either try and add weight to the front, or just move this pivot point back one. I'm going to go ahead and move this pivot point back one. And we're already getting a bit of a suspension glitch just by how the s suspension is already in the creation. Once we add the main glitch, the main stabilizer, it'll be a much more powerful effect. So there we go, it's close to balanced. We can just add a little bit of weight. Let's go ahead and put in a fake stabilizer just to see. That's close, very close actually. Let's put two more. Two more. Nope. Oh, let's go ahead and put a little bit of metal on here. Let's put this back on a lift and let's see. Still tilting ever so slowly forward. So let's put. That is as close to stable as I'm going to get it. Let me put some. Okay. And that appears to be as stable as we can get this craft. So let's go ahead and delete our temporary stabilizer. Let's find where there it is our normal stabilizer put this in and ta-da we've got a stabilized gun so let me put a quick control panel here so I can hook up some buttons and f do the final test so uh, this should be left and right up and down I do believe Let's go ahead and go up, down, right, left, and there we go. Um, I'm going to save this real quick. I always save my guns before I do a test firing just because there is the possibility of it detonating for one reason or another. Let's go ahead and just uh, temp part. Yes, I know something exists there. And we can go ahead and fire. Fart. 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 And there we go. We've got a fully stabilized gun. Now, one extra step you could do is while you're balancing it, you could balance it while it's both loaded and unloaded. 
preferably I always do it while loaded because more times than not you're going to be driving around with ammunition in your gun than you are going to be driving around with ammunition not in your gun. Um, so hopefully this tutorial was helpful. Hopefully you kind of know what you're doing now. Uh, this is just my standard setup for my guns and stuff. However you do yours, you just have to adapt the design to your setup. Um, so I'm going to end it here. If you did enjoy, please leave a like. If you have any suggestions, leave them in the comments down below. Enjoy the channel. Enjoy what I'm doing. Please subscribe. It helps out a lot. And right now, share the help channel the most. If you do help the channel, please share this episode with a friend. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks for sticking around. Until next time, peace.